as we mentioned, these retail sales better than expected. That could lead uh, more to my, the next point of my next guest, which is the harsh criticism for Ben Bernanke and quantitative easing. In an open letter to the Federal Reserve Chairman, a group of mostly Republican economists write that the plan should be stopped. Bloomberg contributor Kevin Hassett is one of the signers. He joins us on the phone now uh, from Washington. Kevin, uh, great to have you join us. And just, you know, I'm just curious, why did you decide to sign this letter? Well, I think that it needs to be registered with the Fed that there's a great deal of disagreement that this, uh, I guess, Hail Mary pass that they're throwing is something that they should be considering right now. And I wondered a little bit, having been a Fed staffer myself, I was a senior economist there about a decade ago, mm -hmm. uh, whether the staff was actually sharing with the Board, this sort of normal uh, contention in the economic community about uh, the advisability of this measure. And so I guess I decided that, that signing the letter was, was a really good idea because it would probably get some attention to the people on the board and make them rethink what they're doing. Uh, but isn't it going, I mean, isn't this just, uh, you know, adding more noise to, uh, I mean, you know, in a way, you know, you wonder whether or not the Fed should just do what they need to do. And the, these critics, including you that are now coming up, uh, should just let quantitative easing work for a while before you take that step and say it's not going to work. Well, no, I, I disagree because I, I think that there are a couple of factors. Uh, one is that if the Fed is concerned right now that the economy is growing uh, at too low a pace, which I share that concern then the Fed needs to be urging policymakers to take some of the prudent steps that they need to take in order to start turning the economy around. So far, the only thing that we've had is a sort of a shot of adrenaline, but we've got a lot of problems that need to be fixed. The U.S. is about to have, for example, the highest Wait, but, corporate tax okay. on earth. And, and, so, and so to sort of say, well, we're going to fix all the world's problems with this magic bullet of quantitative easing, I think takes the pressure off think, politicians but, to do the right thing. But I don't think the Fed is saying, or Bernanke is saying, that I'm going to fix all the world's problems, but where is the help that he's getting? Well, I think that that's the, the point is that, that if you think back to the way uh, Greenspan uh, used uh, the bully pulpit of the Fed, then he would come out and he would say, look, guys, you know, you can't be the highest corporate tax place on earth and expect to have healthy growth. You're going to have to do something about that. And unless uh, we go to really extraordinary measures, uh, then the economy is going to continue to be very, very weak. I think that's the kind of move we need to, to see from the Fed right now, not that this Hail Mary pass that could, you know, one, it, it's angering our trading partners. Two, it opens up the risk of inflation. And, and three, it's already had a big impact on the value of the dollar. Uh, I want to tackle that opening up the, the threat of inflation, because don't you think, I've talked with several people over this past week, uh, don't you think, though, that it is a lot harder to fight deflation than it is to fight inflation? If there were two evils, Ben Bernanke chose the lesser of them. Uh, I think that there's uh, certainly, if the economy continues to grow at one, one and a half percent, then deflation is going to be something of a problem. But, but the more uh, liquidity that you pump into the system, the higher the risk that if all of a sudden we have a couple of four or five percent growth quarters, that inflation really takes off. I mean, I mean that's, that's a risk that the Fed is now introducing into the economy that's getting more and more serious because of the scale of the quantitative easing. Okay. All right, Kevin. Thanks so much for joining us. I really Thank appreciate you. uh, your, uh, your thoughts on why you signed this letter. Uh, to the Fed chairman, Kevin Hassett with the American Enterprise Institute and also a Bloomberg contributor.